well, good morning and uh, welcome once again to the Morning Meditation with God radio ministry brought to you each morning at this same time by the generous and uh, lo loving members and uh, friends of uh, the Midwest Church of Christ. The Midwest Church of Christ is located at 2115 Garland Avenue here in Louisville, Kentucky. And we'd like to extend to you and to your entire family a warm and loving invitation to come and be with us in any and all of the services of the Midwest Church of Christ. Again, located at 2115 Garland Avenue here in Louisville, Kentucky. Our order of services include each Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. is our first worship of the day. Then at 9.30, we have our Sunday Bible School. And at 10.30, we have our second worship of the day. On Wednesdays, we have our midweek Bible study, prayer and devotional services. Our first session is at 10 a.m. in the morning, and our evening session is at 6.50. That's 10 minutes before 7. If you would like to study the Bible in the comforts of your own home, we have two ways that you can do that. One is the Bible Correspondence Course that you can take by mail. The second is the personal home study where someone will come and sit down with you, study the Word of God right in the comforts of your own home. Either way, you give us a call at 774-3986 and uh, we'll, we'll register you today. In other announcements, we want to encourage all Midwest uh, members to uh, get your stewardship packets in, your, uh, your stewardship pledges, your uh, talent search survey, um, and uh, um, your information pertaining to your family uh, survey. So get that information in and let's, uh, let's do everything we can to uh, promote um, the, the, the large church and its and our members one of another. So let's do that. Praise be unto God. The Young Adult Social um, uh, calling on calling all young adults of Midwest. Let's get to know each other and explore our relationship with God and one another. Uh, Brother John Poo Malone and Sister Lydia uh, are going to be uh, facilitating a, a, um, a round table lunch discussion uh, this coming Sunday, the 26th at 1 p.m. Make sure, make sure that uh, uh, all of you, 18 to th uh, 39, make sure you are there. Uh, you need to get this in your heart uh, that the Lord is wanting to develop this relationship with you. He's got great things for you to do, but he has to have you participating in the work that he has in store for you. The ladies' Bible class will also be meeting uh, next, uh, this coming uh, Sunday, the 26th, uh, following the uh, 1030 worship. Make sure you do that and you come and there are all sisters. Uh, make sure that you're there for that. Uh, the 47th National Jail and Prison Workshop um, planning meeting will be this coming uh, uh, Monday the 27th at 6 p.m. Please make plans to be there and to come out and, and support um, and support the work um, that is that is planning for the jail and prison workshop it's going to be uh, in June uh, the 10th through the 12th uh, here 
uh, in Louisville, and uh, uh, that will be what we all need uh, to do is to get um, have have the best um, um, uh, workshop that we can possibly have. So we're looking forward to you coming out uh, this uh, uh, Monday uh, at 6 p.m. The Minister's Appreciation and Song Fest is coming up the first weekend in, in February. On February the 2nd, the um, Minister's Appreciation uh, is taking place, uh, and um, Brother Desi Anderson is going to be doing the preaching, and we're looking forward to the young man coming and being with us. Uh, that uh, the song fest will be that that uh, Saturday, February the first, at 5 p.m. Come out and hear some beautiful singing, uh, uh, a cappella singing. Uh, will bless your soul. Will bless your soul. Praise be unto God. The Village Learning Center is uh, open Monday through Thursday. Uh, from for kindergarten through preschool, rather, preschool through the eighth grade. We hope that you'll get your young people registered, parents, as they are getting prepared uh, in the spring to take the, uh, the test. Uh, they're testing. Help them get their reading, their vocabulary. Uh, get those things, understandings uh, that they need uh, to be prepared for that and we we help them do that we help them with their homework and then we work with them in their individual reading individual math and and uh, writing skills you make sure you get those children registered with us so we can be a blessing to them and let me be clear they are a blessing to us amen we get a blessing every time we are with these children Volunteers, we need we need you to help us with this. Praise be unto God. We just ask one day a week, and we'll show you how to do how you can be of support to the children. Uh, praise be unto God. I apologize. I'm still, <clears throat> I'm still battling a, a sinus infection. I'm doing better today than I was yesterday, but you know I got a ways to go. So you all just uh, uh, pardon me when I have to uh, turn away and and take care of uh, those sinus issues. The area-wide news. Well, first, the, the Kids Cafe is open today uh, at 5 p.m. This is a, this is a uh, ministry that helps feed, uh, provide a healthy dinner for children in our neighborhood, uh, along with them having uh, exercising and, and um, physical uh, and, and spiritual guidance. Come and be with us. Work with the children. You'll be blessed with that. The food and clothing ministry uh, is open on the second and fourth Thursdays uh, at 3 p.m. You you come. Today it is open uh, at 3 p.m. for our neighbors. You come and be with them. Praise be uh, unto God. Let us serve you in the name of our Lord. Now in area-wide news. The Southwestern Christian College uh, uh, Spring Tour will be in Louisville, Kentucky uh, as one of the stops on the Spring Tour uh, of, the, of the Southwestern Christian College course. Uh, this should be, and they should be in the, um, in the, in the area on Thursday uh, evening, March the 12th. The, the, the committee is looking for uh, means of lodging uh, and taking care of their 
um, well-being as well as the venue. You make sure Midwest, you try to do what we can do to work and support uh, Southwestern Christian College Committee. They're doing a fantastic job in helping the local area uh, support Southwestern Christian College. Amen. And they need you to make a donation uh, toward lodging. See Sister Deborah McGill for that. The 2000, the 35th annual Ladies Lectureship uh, Retreat will uh, is we're going to be in April and uh, February the first uh, this weekend. Is uh, the time you must have uh, your. Uh, um, Registration in uh, for it to be eighty one hundred eighty five dollars. The other, uh, uh, if you don't get it in by this weekend, uh, it'll cost two hundred dollars. So save yourself. And certainly, we want to see you participate in um, in this uh, uh, event for. Um, our sisters in Christ coming from all over the country and may our God be, be with them. Also, uh, if you need assistance, see Sister Claudia McGill. Uh, uh, they are need, Newberg is asking us to give all the sisters to give a, a donation for them to purchase the rest of the uh, gift items to uh, and so if you would do that, make sure you, you uh, see Sister Claudia uh, McGill for, for that. Praise be unto God. We want to remember our sick and shut-in. Uh, want to remember uh, uh, Sister Beverly Bledsoe, Sister Savannah Johnson, Sister Don Marie Sizemore. Uh, sister, I mean, Brother Johnny Miles and Sister Brother Angelo Pentegrass. Pray also for our brother, look for our shut in, Sister Louise Covington, Sister Sarah Cowan, Sister Mary Hunter, Sister Pearl Smith, Sister Vivian Wakefield, Sister Mary Wood, and uh, Brother James Frazier. Keep Sister Bertha Frazier and Sister Johnny Miles. Uh, uh, Sister Dorothy Miles and daughter Tanya as they work to help uh, our brethren uh, in their weaknesses and we know God's able. Also, also we want to remember those who are uh, going through dialysis and radiation, chemotherapy and other, and other treatments. Uh, we want to uh, remember uh, our dear friends, uh, Sister uh, Angela Walls Gill, Sister Sheila Heiner, Sister Sandy Hammond Schuler, uh, Sister Rita Kamishi, Sister Sarah, the daughter of Brother and Sister Clark, uh, Sister Beverly Bledsoe. Sister Anya Lawson and Sister Latanya Johnson. Pray also for Brothers Jasper Crenshaw, Brother Richard Rose, Brother Gary King, Brother Frederick Hines, and Brother Marvin Stevenson Jr. Let's keep let's keep them in our prayers and ask God to to be with them. We also want to Give our condolences and um, to um, we call him Bubba. Um, we call him Bubba Smith. Uh, his name was James Smith, uh, James Bubba Smith. We learned that he passed uh, the other day, and uh, our prayers are with him. Uh, me and brother Bubba, we we grew up together. Uh, right on Virginia Avenue, and uh, uh, dearly later years he was he he became he became Fishman Bubba, Amen. Uh, and uh, 
We're just we're just thankful. A joy, a jolly, a jolly guy. Uh, you know, he's colorful, jolly, uh, kind of a fella. And we're just thankful to God that we we knew each other on this side. And may our God be with be with his 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 family, his children, his sisters and brothers. Uh, um, and uh, we're just thankful to God for it. And may God continue to bless bless them. I also want to remember the brother of Brother Michael uh, Rainbolt. His brother passed, and we want to give our condolences to him uh, and his family. Bow with me. Father, have mercy upon us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for touching us this morning with your mercy. For what if without your mercy, we would not be able to be here this morning, oh God. But Lord, you are a great and merciful Father. And I know that in you, everything is possible. Yet without you, we do nothing. Lord, we pray for our sick and shut in. Those going through special treatments, those that are bereaved this morning, may you, oh God, may you come and be with them, strengthen them. I pray that you bless all of the families that are going through the trials and tribulation, the Livers family. Uh, we ask that you be with them and strengthen them. Lord, as we open up your word today, may it fill the hearts of the people that are here to receive your word. And may your servant stay within the boundaries of your word, that your word may be a lamp unto our feet and a light in our pathway. I thank you, dear God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I do pray. Amen. Now, let's, let's open up our Bibles. Let's, let's open up our Bibles to the book of Psalms. The one thing I, I did not do, and I want to make sure I do that, because, listen, without these the dear friends and members supporting this ministry, we couldn't be, we couldn't be here every day. And I know they don't tell me I have to say that. I, but listen, I think when people do, when people are kind and good, you ought to know how to say thank you. And I, I'm a real believer in that because people don't have to be, people don't have to be good, okay? But but when, when they are, you can say thank you. And so I say thank you to all of you that supports this radio ministry. This week, we had Sister Linda Bird and, Sister Shirley Coker, Sister Rose Coleman, Brother James Malone, Sister Cynthia Purvis, Sister Angelica Robertson, Brother Jeremiah Smith, Sister Deborah Spears, Brother Joe Stevenson, uh, Sister Joey Stevenson, Sister uh, Brother Kevin Stevenson, Sister Jaquay Thomas, Sister Marilyn Wester and our dear friends, uh, Brother David and Sister Rita Kamishi, uh, and uh, 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 Sister Nancy Mormon. Thank you all. Thank you so much for your for your kindness. Uh, praise be unto God. Now, let's open up your Bibles. Let's open up your Bibles to the book of Psalms, the first division. The first division. The Bible, the word of God says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and it's in his law does he meditate day and night. 
and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, the way of the ungodly, shall perish. Jesus come to show us how to live in this new kingdom of God. Matthew records him teaching his disciples in the mountain. In Matthew chapter 5, beginning at verse 3, the Bible, the Word of God says, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice. Rejoice, he says. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for are so persecuted they, the prophets which were before you. <laughs> Now let's open up our Bibles to the book of John, the 8th chapter. The book of John, the Gospel of John. The verses 20 is the verses 32. The Bible, the Word of God says, You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free free. Thursday, January the 23rd, 2020, our daily devotion entitled, Truth Sets You Free. God's truth. never restricts you. It always set you free. Are you discouraged? Is there a sense of bondage in a particular area of your life? A lack of victory over a certain sin, a harmful addiction, it is possible that you do not yet understand uh, truth about God that can release you. If you feel, if you feel powerless to meet the challenges uh, set before you, take, a, take encouragement from the promise of Philippians 4 and verse 13. The apostle says, I can do 
all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you are defeated by circumstances, hold on to the truth of Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 that God can work your most difficult situations into his good. If you are enslaved to a particular sin, work with the truth of 1 John 1, 9 into your life, which promises that if you confess your sins, God is faithful to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. All of these truths await the Holy Spirit's implementation in your life and mine. It is one thing to know about the truth. It is, a, it is yet another thing to experience the truth of God being worked out in your life. God's truth will have no effect upon you uh, unless you accept it and believe it and put it to work in your life. Perhaps you have already read and heard uh, the accounts of God working mightily in the lives of others. But have you, but have you allowed God to implement these truths into your life? What truth, what truth about God would you like to be experiencing in your life? Asked him to implement that, that truth into your life today and every day. For our God is able, and so is the readings from the books of the Lord. The book of Psalms, the first division. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 verse 3 through 12. And here, in the book of John, the 8th chapter, and the verse is 32. Let's, let's open up our Bibles to the book of Hebrews, our featured study. Hebrews, the 10th chapter, and we'll begin reading at verse number uh, 15. The Bible, the Word of God says, The Holy Spirit also testifies to us about this. For after he says, This is the covenant I will make with them. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws on their hearts and write them in their minds. He adds, I will never again remember their sins and their lawless acts. Now, where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer any offering for sin. I think I'm going to stop. I think I'm going to stop right here. Because I, and, and, and I want you to, to understand that what we're reading here is the is the promises of the Lord 
and uh, it is being testified by the Holy Spirit of God. It is the Holy Spirit of God that gives us our anointing, gives us our instruction. I want you to I want you to go with me for just a moment to the book of John, the 16th chapter. I want to show you too often, too often, brothers, we have people talking about, uh, let the Holy Ghost be, have his way and let the Holy Ghost, I, I, I want the Holy Ghost. Let, let, me, let me be, the Holy Ghost is not something floating around and you catch it or it catches you. The Holy Spirit is God and the Holy Amen. Spirit has a specific act of duty that the Holy Spirit, God, the Holy Spirit gives to us. Now, listen. Listen to what he says here. In uh, chapter 16, John 16. He says, here he says in verse 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear. That shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. The Holy Spirit's work is to, amen, guide you and me through the book of God. Bring it. He guided the, the apostles and holy men throughout the Bible to write the book of God. Holy men of God wrote the book as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Jesus says that he was going to go away in the 14th chapter. In the 14th chapter of the book of John. He says, uh, I, he says in verse number uh, uh, 14, If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If, I, if ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Look at what he says in verse 17. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. God said he put the Holy Ghost in all of those of us who are the children of God here in the, and he says the Holy Ghost is with us and dwells within us. How do you know, Pastor? Well, it, like I tell you all the time, you, 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 take, you have to put scripture upon scripture, line upon line, precept upon precept. That's why when, I, when we were having Bible study uh, with one of our members who had been overtaken 
that is being overtaken by this Hebrewism, this black Hebrewism. Uh, they just getting why they're getting overtaken by this stuff. And you know they 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 go in and point out a scripture here and a scripture there, but they ain't got no they don't have no continuity. You know why? Because it's not it, the Holy Spirit wasn't behind it. The Holy Spirit. Let me show you. Let me show you how the reason you're able to manifest the Holy Spirit. Let me show you in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19. Amen. He says, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. Because why? Because you have been bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which is God's. My brothers and sisters, my, 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 my point with you today is uh, you must hear the testimony of the Lord Jesus. Then, Pastor, why is it that people are not hearing and, 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 and seeing the, uh, the Bible as you see it? Well, because the Bible is spiritual. And if you want knowledge of the Spirit, you've got to receive the gift of the Spirit. <laughs> let me let me show you what I mean by that. In Acts chapter 2, the Scripture says, uh, um, the men, at verse 37, when Paul, when Peter rather, had convicted uh, those Jews that they had crucified the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, he, uh, they were, the Bible says, and they were pricked in their hearts in verse number 37. And uh, they said, now when they heard this, they were pricked uh, in their hearts and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter, in verse 38, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Ghost. My brothers and sisters, how did you get it? When did you get it? You got it. You got it when you profess that Jesus is the Christ. You still ain't got it yet. You repent of your sins. Amen. You still ain't got it yet. But then you go down and are baptized into the water. And the Bible says, and then you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, my brothers and sisters. And then when you have that free gift, here's, here's, here's what God says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 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 chapter. Uh, Chapter 1, chapter 2, I'm sorry, chapter 2. He says uh, in verse number, uh, um, okay, I got a little time. Uh, amen. He says in verse number 10, but God hath revealed them unto us uh, by his spirit. Uh, amen. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth? the things of a man, save the spirit of man, which is in him. 
Even so, now you, you understand you because you got you understand your spirit. But he says, uh, uh, even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Now, the now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Do you see this? You see what God is saying? You, God gave this to you. Now listen. Which things also we speak not in the words of man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man knoweth, receiveth not the, the things of the Spirit of God, but for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself indeed of judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. My brothers and sisters, I just want you I want you all to know you, you've got to have the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. And, and you don't know how to, to move and uh, about uh, uh, your circumstances. Trust in the Lord. That's what you do. God has given you his Holy Spirit. And his Holy Spirit is with you. Verse 15, and he back in Hebrews now. I know we went around we went around the world on you. But I want you to understand the, the significance of how do you get the Holy Spirit and when do you get it? It is a gift from God to all of the believers who can who uh, repents and confess that Jesus is Christ and are buried with him in baptism where Christ cleanses you from all unrighteousness. My brothers and sisters, this is what God is wanting you to know. He says, now, when you have this in your heart, he says, now here's what the, I will do when, when, when you have the Holy Spirit within you, you will understand that this is the covenant I will make with them. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws on their hearts and write them on their minds. And he adds, I will never again remember their sins and their lawless acts. Now, where there is forgiveness of those, there is no longer uh, a, a need for offering to be made on our behalf. It is already, it is already taken its course. Jesus has already died the perfect sacrifice. There is, there is no other way that we can find the peace of mind than to have Jesus to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This is where we are. 
And this is what we need. With Jesus, you can do all things. Without Jesus, you can't do anything that's going to be eternal. God bless you. I'm going to open up the prayer lines. And if you would like to have prayer, We'd like to have prayer. You uh, give us a call and uh, we'll pray with you and we'll pray for you. That our God may strengthen your life and the life of those around you. Jesus said, come. Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me. Praise God. Hello, caller. This is Brother Stevenson with the Midwest Church of Christ. Can we help you? Yes, praise the Lord. And thank you, Brother Steve. This is Brother Mormon. How are you doing? I am blessed and highly favored and abundantly blessed. Trying to get through this sinus infection. God is good all the time. Yes, he is. And, uh, we are praying for you, so you don't take it lightly. Amen. You, you take care of yourself, because we need you. We need you. Thank we you. Love you. And we're praying for you all the time. Thank you. But I just want to thank God for what he has already done for us. Amen. And what he's doing right now, and what he's going to do, because we got his word, and we got his promises. Thank you. Stand on his word, Pastor, for the case that I'm appealing. That's the news. That's Amen. The news regardless of our circumstances. Amen. I know in him, I, I thank God for the Holy Spirit because I, it's in him that I live, I move, and have all my being. Amen. I enjoyed that sermon this morning. Thank you. I'd like to have prayer for you and your wife and family and for all the ones you prayed for. And for your church family, Midwest Church of Christ. Thank you. I'd like to have prayer for uh, uh, Brother uh, Sister Wood, Mary Wood's yes. family, and Sister Marceline Marshall's family, and Brother Keith. I'd like to have prayer for the sick and the shed in and the bereaved everywhere. Thank I'd you. I'd like to have special prayer for the caregivers. We pass and we have the sick take care of the sick. Yes, um, yes. We pray to pray for them. I'd like to have prayer for all the board and meditation listeners, for the ones yes. that's not able to yes. call in for one reason or another. We thank God for the opportunity to be able to call in for them. Thank you. I'd like to have prayer for my church family and you come in this year at the church. My pastor, Pastor Robert Grace Senior, uh, our first lady, Lady D. And all our sister ministers, for Brother Charles and Patricia Level, and the Level family, the Price family, and for Sister Darlene Beamer, and the Crenshaw family. Yes. For Sister Ann Charles and his family, and for Sister uh, uh, Bobby Jones and his family. I'd like to have prayer for uh, the Mormons, the Glovers, the Beasley, the Hale family. The Ellis family, for the Kid family, for my sister Carolyn Davis in Texas, and for uh, uh, brother John Anderson and family, for sister Shirley Fitzpatrick family, for Bishop Dennis Lyons and Gospel Missionary Church family, and for Pastor Robert Carr and Union Missionary Baptist Church family. I'd like to have prayer for all our worldwide intercessory prayer team, a prayer partner, Sister Gwen McAtee and family. I'd like to have prayer for all the ones in recovery. Yes. God is able to do anything but fail. Amen. Brother Kevin Rondo and family. Yes. Brother John Anderson and family, for Sister Bertha Jones and family, mm -hmm. and for Rona, and for uh, Sister Tony Yates and family. And for Brother Randolph and Jacqueline Harrison family. Mm -hmm. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sister uh, Andre Sharp wants us to pray for her and her family. Uh, Sister um, uh, Marilyn Wester wants us to continue to remember her and her family in prayer. Um, Brother Kevin Stevenson is asking for prayer and uh, he thanks uh, for the for the, the study of God's word today um, and uh, the Holy Spirit of God has its work has his work to do and and he is doing it in our generation 5 7 1 12 40 if there's uh, anyone that needs prayer I want to pray thank you brother Kevin I, I meant to have that down on on my schedule. I want to pray for uh, Brother Kevin's uh, brother-in-law and my nephew-in-law, uh, David uh, Ellis. Um, uh, he is back in rehab, and it has been a real struggle for him having knee surgery, and uh, it, it developed a great deal of problems with that. So let's keep let's keep uh, him in our prayers. David Ellis, uh, praise be uh, unto God. Um, want to we want to remind all of the young adults in Midwest. Make sure you come out this Sunday. You come out this Sunday, and you make plans to be with Brother John Poole and Sister Lydia. And they will facilitate a round table discussion on the various things that are necessary uh, for them. So look look for young adults to, to make it and thrive, not just be going through religious motions, but going through and getting a solid relationship with the God of heaven. God bless you. Now, let's go to God in prayer. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. As we come this day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. May we forever be thankful that you touched us with mercy this morning, that the waking up to a new day may it be a blessing to us and may we be a blessing to this world today to giving out Jesus his love sharing his kindness to everybody we meet Lord I, I pray for all of us we all stand in need of prayer I thank you for the Sister Mormon and all those she is lifted up. May you bless her. Bless her, dear God. And I pray, I pray for Sister Marilyn. I pray uh, for Brother Kevin. I pray for Sister Sharp. I pray for all that have asked a, a special prayer for themselves, their families, their co-workers, and all over. Help them, oh God. And now, Father, show us, show us the direction that you would have us to go today. May we be uh, a hand that will reach out to somebody uh, that you are trying to reach. Help our feet to take us where you would want us to go. Now walk with us, Father. I ask these in all things. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus, amen. My time is up for today. And I am thankful that our God has blessed us and that you have joined with us today. Until tomorrow, at this same time, know this. Our God loves you, and so do I.